Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. That's the tomato plant behind me. So yeah, the indoor garden is picking up pretty good. Now I went to, uh, here on YouTube, the Microgreens Farmer. I'm getting a lot of ideas from him. So what I have is his four favorites was the peas, the lettuce mix, I got these just started yesterday. And these are the other day. Sunflower, peas, and radish. Get a little closer. Yeah, it's coming in pretty good. Those are the three main. And then the wheatgrass. So, I followed his ideas. It's looking pretty good except for that little purple light on there. So, uh, I got three lights coming in from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Brad made them closer to the spectrum of the sun than the than the purple lights. But uh, I got to tell you, I found flowers over here on the tomato plant. I'm thinking it was it's old and it missed its flowering. But I realized it was a brand new shoot coming out. It wasn't connected, it wasn't tied in, so they got them strung up so, so they, they don't hang far out and break off. But this is a new shoot. It's got flowers, it's got two yellow flowers over here. So I got the fan pointing on that and uh, it'll, it'll self-pollinate. But these two peppers here, they kind of stalled out, probably because it's it's not usually 70 degrees in this room, but these two peppers, can you see them both? They have, by far, taken off out of nowhere and grown faster than these over here, which is awesome. Probably because I changed the lighting a little bit. So, um, yeah, I got more lettuce in the other day. I just found out. You can cut your head of lettuce at the store, at right there at your counter, and you take a couple inches of it, and you take that base, and you put that in water. It should take root and regrow again. So that's pretty, pretty good information. And your potatoes, how about that? So I was told through another YouTuber that if you put like a third to half of the potato in the water and you can hold it up with toothpicks kind of like with a avocado that's way in the back but um yeah we live and we learn now Michael Green's farmer is going to tell you he's making up to eight hundred dollars a week so I'm not saying I'm going to sell anything but I'm saying <laughs> I'm enjoying this little journey and uh, it's helped out with the, the cloner it's helped out quite a bit and that was what that shoot is I got several more shoots down I'm not even aiming this so I got several more shoots down there and if something dies or if I trim something up to get it in the cloner it goes right down there so the organic it goes into the soil every time I water it it helps everything grow goji berries lost its leaves again about the eighth time I'm probably gonna go ahead and take a bunch of those branches off get it in the cloner so they came from a nursery that's probably what you call a drug addict I don't put chemical fertilizer in it and that's probably what it's needing that's probably why it's having issues all the time. The soil is damp. Maybe I should just let it dry out. Maybe it's that damn purple light. Because it's definitely frying the leaves on the strawberries back there. But uh, that the, the, the spider mites like those two plants over there. Okay, I think that's it. 
So I got more, I got more seeds. I want the, uh, I want the cherry tomatoes, the Swiss chard. I got different colors of Swiss chard in there. I got to get the corn going. I'm really happy to see that uh, Hidden Harvest Grow Lights, he's got corn growing now. So that would be really cool. I want the chives, the heads of lettuce. I gotta try the whole flax seed. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, that's it. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And uh, let's get ready for the new year and grow our own food. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, share, all that good stuff. Leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you in a couple days. And uh, have a nice sunny day.